President Lincoln's cottage, where Lincoln lived while drafting the Emancipation Proclamation, will soon celebrate its fifth anniversary since opening to the public. Visitors, members, and donors have made this important accomplishment possible. One of the first times I gave a tour of the cottage, um, I was surprised after telling one of the stories of what happened here to look up and realize that half the people on my tour had tears in their eyes. And that's when it really dawned on me just how emotional this place is for a lot of people once they realize what Lincoln did while he was here. This past year we welcomed our 100,000th visitor to President Lincoln's Cottage and that was a really exciting milestone for us. And those 100,000 visitors come not only from the DC metro area but all 50 states and around the world. Though the restoration of President Lincoln's Cottage was mostly complete in 2008, the work of preserving the cottage continues. In 2012, the cottage turned 170 years old. Now, a 170-year-old building requires a lot of attention. We had about 24,000 visitors to the site last year. Now, that's a lot of hands and feet walking on the, uh, the wood floors, the carpet, uh, opening windows and doors, walking up the stairs, railings. You, you never really know what you're going to get every day. Uh, it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot of fun. The balcony, which is located on the south elevation of the cottage, is one of the projects that I've been working on for the last few months. Uh, over the summer, we found out that a lot of the uh, wood framing and floorboards had started to deteriorate. So we removed all the framing and the floorboards and left the metal railing intact and redesigned how the framing and the floorboards make contact so that hopefully in the future we will avoid any sort of the, the kind of deterioration that we found. The purpose of preserving President Lincoln's cottage is ultimately so that future generations can learn about freedom, justice, and equality. Our education staff have worked to make that happen with interactive programs. We've come a long way in the past five years, but there is unfinished work. You know, our vision for education is so that we can see that every D.C. public school kid comes to the cottage at some point during their, their career. Lincoln was a, you know, a young boy who grew up um, very poor with, you know, not that much formal education and somehow was able to rise from the very bottom all the way to the top. I think that's an important story, especially for our, our local students, some of whom, you know, don't, don't come from means and, and really need that inspiration. This idea that um, you can have these really great ideas, that you have to grow them and, and ultimately take action, but that everyone can do big things just like Lincoln did. You don't have to just be President of the United States. The unfinished work, a phrase Lincoln used in the Gettysburg Address, means a lot to this privately funded national monument. I first started working for President Lincoln's Cottage in 2003 when we were just getting started with a lot of the capital project work. We did all the private fundraising as the National Trust for Historic Preservation to bring President Lincoln's Cottage to life. We opened the site on President's Day in 2008, and 2008 was the beginning of the economic crisis in the United States and around the world. All of our years of operation have been within that economic downturn, yet we've still managed to grow President Lincoln's Cottage. When people are learning about President Lincoln's Cottage for the first time, they always ask us how they can do more. So um, our answer to that is that there are many ways that you could do more. Just spreading the word about President Lincoln's Cottage is an incredible help. But more than that, becoming a member, um, making a donation to President Lincoln's Cottage, introducing other people to the site who might be interested and willing to help out, those are all ways that people can help. There are still so many people that don't know about President Lincoln's Cottage, and so part of our work moving forward is continuing to spread the awareness and to bring more people here to the cradle of the Emancipation Proclamation.